and get the start recording on. Funky completes that one in the triple coverage, and they're gonna hurry up here. I also forgot yesterday to upload yesterday's games. So we are. Oh no, he's picked off! Wow, what a start for Rocky. Some big match in here. Cardinals effectively on their home territory. I shouldn't be them the home team. Oh well. Alright. Charlie Cardinal in great position. See if he can strike early. Good completion there. Charlie is gonna get it there. Great play. And another conversion. Charlie making good work of this ideal field position. Of oh, that blunder from Rocky. It is now first and goal. Across. Not going to get anywhere with that one. Rocky may have given up the early interception, but showing he's not going to go anywhere right now. Game one of today's quadruple header starting late because of the game. Um, weather delay. Couple of things. And he's not going to get there. Stuff. Goal line stand for Rocky. And that's a good start here. Four. Um, and that's a successful field goal. Yesterday we had some great games. Badger Whackers ended up walking over the Big Red Knights, 21-13. Ball by the Thriller at Schumann between Purdue, Pete, and the Trees. Came down to the final possession, goal line stand. Once the Cincinnati Bearcats made a statement game against the Stubborn Ducks, were able to stomp them. And... Um, yeah, Bryce's Fresh Super Frog stomped all over Herbie Husker. Today we've got three more first round games, followed by our first ever elimination game between Purdue Pete, the tree, and uh, the Ducks. And he's picked off again! Rocky, what are you doing, man? <laughs> he all fogged up on the inside of the helmet. So many turnovers. And Ball State with another chance to score.
Okay. And we're going to settle for another field goal there. Man, that looked awful. Take that out of the end zone, he's on the 24 yard line, and let's see if Rocky can at least get a first down here. Not the best start in the world for Rocky. Don't worry, tonight on the floor of the game. Pulls that one in. <laughs> Rocky really floundering here early. Third and seven. Gonna run for it. And he gets it. Alright. Rocky sure he's not totally out of this one. Not gonna roll over and die. Charlie early on the snap there and gets it. Is that a fumble? Oh my god. Okay. That's a little bit. He was hit while throwing, and at least it wasn't a pick six. So, Charlie Cardinal with the ball again. Toledo. What the hell are you doing, man? You're supposed to be our, our new line of defense, the Space Force. Charlie, see if he can actually get a touchdown here. All they can turn these interceptions into field goals so far. going to be Charlie Cardinal with six points, and Rocky with nothing. Three interceptions. Throws it. Knocked away. Flag on the play, Charlie's kick is... Alright, I'm gonna bring that one back. And they're gonna decline it for a third field goal in a row. We get it, Charlie, that, you know, you wanna take the safe points, but it's still early, let's get aggressive. You had a fourth and one there, at like their own, at their, like, 15. <laughs> I just rewatched the chart party about hunting and how sad it can be, so I'm, I'm a little aggressive against settling for field goals and punts. Charlie Cardinal, to his credit, three interceptions, turning them into nine points here at the top of the second inning. Second, second quarter. Here comes Rocky. Swallowed up again. 
Maybe they'll try and keep it on the ground from now on. All right, Rocky, let's go. And he's gonna get stabbed. Well, at least it was an interception. Jesus, three, three interceptions already. they can defend the kick. And Charlie Cardinal with the ball back. How's it going, Ficker? I don't know which one you are. Thanks for watching. Charlie Cardinal, there was there. Retro jerseys. Retro uniform. Pretty picture. Old school Charlie Cardinal. And he's just gonna kick a 50 yard field goal. God damn. Alright. And Rocky with the ball back, but I doubt he's gonna do anything with it. Rocky has one first down. And that was a QB rush. Oh, he's going to throw it. And he completes a goddamn pass. Look at that. That is the first... I that is the first first down by passing like that. I don't think it's first. I don't think it's the first successful throw. And he could follow it up with a sack. No, it's the right back. Right back. I think I'm gonna finally do my, my perfect, my pitching a perfect game. It's got an extra twist on it, but I think you guys will like God damn, Rocky's just getting swallowed up here. You really hate to see it. I know it's early, but we might have another contender for the toilet bowl, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the stream, another TV viewer. As we have our fourth interception of the day for poor Rocky. Oh my dear lord. This is just getting quite painful to watch.
Charlie on taking an uh taking an early look around the league. What's going on in real life fantasy in real life simulation football right now is Charlie's gonna air it out. And wow he pulled that in. I thought he was gonna be out of bounds there. Are they gonna show it? No, alright. First round of the uh ninth iteration of the BBFL playoffs. Stallions currently overall hail the king to 43 to down 27. Charlie gets to stick to me. Stever Mules losing the Troy Polamalu's hairbrush 28 to 46. Uh, they both have most of their players in right now, so, so it'll be interesting to see what that one ends. And Scrooge McDuck's Gizmo Ducks versus Tuck Sanity itself. The, um, the Dark Horse. I would say for the championship this year. Tuck winning 92 to 49 right now. And the boobs division fight between Unicorn Lizard and Nice Ren. Looks like Kita's way out in front. So we'll keep you updated on those as we get through today. Ball State burning a timeout there. For a very long third down. Gets hit while throwing. Gets the pass off and looks look if he can go for kick number five. Or just go for it. Nope. He made it from 58 earlier, so this should be nothing. 40 yarder. 15 nothing all off the field goal. So well, it looks like Ball State is really slamming them out there. They cannot put anything together on their own offensive. So it's despite Scoring five times, it's only a two score game. 51 seconds left. Rocky, three timeouts. Keeps on the option. Man, it's just absolutely swallowed up by that block of words. This one's tough to watch so far. Not gonna lie. Oh, break that tackle. Can't even get back to my turn. Third and twelve. Rocking up over a And there's a clock run out mercifully there. At the half, Toledo down. 15 nothing. Charlie Cardinal. Excited off their MAC championship. Looking at make a statement here in the BBFL mascot tournament. And Ball State look at the ball for only the second time not off the turn over. Look at a pretty decent tournament. Three interceptions already. Rocky can't get anything done today. Charlie Cardinal. Here we go. It's hit while throwing. Throws it away. Bench with its first cap of the day. Yeah. Bit of a miserable slog fast so far. Too bad the weather. Too bad. Throws it away again. Yeah. Charlie Cardinal 0 for 5 on third ground. They're down today, but these have all been in uh, Toledo territory. And we're going to see our first punt for the day, Ball State.
Well, I guess this is Maction for you. Pocket collapses. Rocky's been sacked four times, knocked down once, and thrown three picks. Just kind of disgusting. Nothing doing here. Can Rocky convert a third and long? Trying to get on the jump off sides. And they hand it off on third and twelve. Got the three and out. This is getting hard to watch, folks. Yeah, Bolt Street isn't even winning by two touchdowns. Honestly, I'm kind of rooting for Toledo at this point, just to, like, get some shit together. What is this? This isn't football. It's just that. Oh, God, he's gone. 20, 10. Easy touchdown there for the Cardinals. And dear Lord, is this one like getting ugly. Has man wide open. Rocky had no shot. And that's going to be six points. It'd be great if he missed this point after. Alright. 22 zip in favor of Charlie Cardinal. Blocks. Uh, he's going to bring it up to about the 25-yard line. Rocky has to get something going here now. Now fully a three-score game. With just over three and a half left in third. And they're going to hand it off. Actually gonna pass it and complete it and get a first down. Oh my god, look at that. Is this it for Rocky? Is now the time? Gonna throw it again. He's got time. Did he pull that in? Nice. That is the biggest completion we've seen for any part of Toledo's offense. And they're actually this is the first time they've been in Ball State territory, I think. What the hell? All right, Rocky, don't fuck this up. All right, throw it away. Better than a pick, better than a pick. Come on, Rocky, what are you doing? Here's that one out. Did he just, oh! He almost had his, well, that was pretty close actually. He might have had that. Throw the flag, throw the flag. Throw the flag, damn it. Oh, and he's sacked. Oh my God. All right, are you gonna take the three points? If it weren't for the sack, I might say go for it. I don't know how good their kicker is, but you're down three touchdowns. All right, it's going to be what, a 48, 49-yarder. And Toledo's on the board. 49-yard field goal. 
No shutout today at Schumann. Wow. He met no resistance on that run back. Toledo can get a quick three and out here. That would actually really help their momentum because they, they're they moving right now. And if they can get a good shutdown of this Ball State offense, which honestly hasn't done much except for that one blown coverage. Quick little pass across midfield, or middle of the field, I should say. Charlie, you got 155, that was like a 60-yard touchdown, so. Other than that, he's probably under 100. There you go. All right, Rocky. You might have a barn burner, folks. I don't want to get premature, but. This matchup might be heating up. And, all right, good stuff. Toledo coming up clutch here with a nice three and out. Let's see if they can capitalize. All right. We got a 20, 21 yard line to set up. All right, Rocky, show me what you got. On the ground, I guess. God damn. Oh, it's so hard to watch. <laughs> now third and nineteen. At least you didn't get intercepted. Go into the air. And damn near picked off again. That would have been number four. Right into stupid bird hands. If he got a little more height on that ball, it would have been a that probably would have been a touchdown. Now, punting again. Rocky's in a real bad way here. All right, Charlie, what are you doing here? If they score, if Ball State scores like another touchdown, that might put the game on ice. They currently have 19. Well, no, it's a three-score game anyway, right? Like, yeah. If, so if they score again, it's done. Toledo could maybe come back from a three-score deficit. Even then, that's two touchdowns, two two-point conversions, and a field goal. They fuck up one of those, they got to get three touchdowns. Oh, there's our first flip. That's for flip in the chat. <laughs> Pretty much that might be new here. We're pretty sure there's a bug in this game where in the mascot mode, when a player tries to juke, they end up doing a little side flip. So far, it hasn't affected the integrity of the game, as far as I can tell. There's been a couple times where somebody fumbled while getting while flipping, but I think those were just normal fumbles. After three, Charlie Cardinal up. 22 to 3. All right, they got to stop here. Start of the fourth quarter.
Uh, Rocky's gonna, okay, it's gonna get about three yards, or seven yards there. Alright, he's gonna shut. That looks better. He's got his man. It's 30, the 20. He's going to get away. Touchdown, Rocky. Okay, hold the phones and eat them. We might got something here. Just gets past that defender. Thrown a little behind him. And he's going to walk the tightrope for six. And now Rocky, their first touchdown on the board, looking to cut the lead to 12. All right, still a two touchdown game, but that's much more manageable. 60 yard pass by Rocky there. Oh, go for an onside kick. I was not expecting that. All right, well, Charlie's got the ball in good territory, but this Toledo defense has come to life. If they can get a good stop here, if they can hold them to like five yards on this drive, they might be outside of field goal position. All right, that's going to put them right on the edge of field goal, which, you know, if they hold them to three, that's going to be a 15-point game. Yeah, 15 points. It's still, it's still a two touchdown game. Have to convert a two pointer at some point, but. As for Flip, he's going to get that first down, so. Not what you want to see, and they're going to start winding down the clock here. Rocky needs to stop. Big stop here. All right. Now, oh. welcome to the stream, James. You uh, you missed three. The first four possessions for Rocky were interception, interception, punt, interception. But um, Ball State turned that into five field goals. Oh no, okay, well, that probably iced it. What the hell happened there? Do we not have game audio again? I'm not getting game audio. I didn't change anything, what the hell? Can you guys hear the game? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Another interception? Rocky, what are you doing? Sorry. 
Nice flip. We had audio earlier. Let's go put another one on the board. 32 to 10 in favor of Ball State with one second left in the game. And he's going to kneel out. Now we get a game one today. Final score. 32 to 10. Write down these scores. All right. James is moving on. He'll be facing off against Makita tomorrow night. His PDs that haven't started yet. Well, Space Force Coast to Coast drops down to the loser's bracket. And they'll be taking on the loser of today's game between Seth and Stu. All right, it's about 140. Next game is going to start at 2 o'clock. Let's check out these highlights. Nothing, 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 nothing. Next game will start at 2 but I'm going to, it looks like we're not getting game audio again, so I'm going to try and fi finagle that while we're at break. So I'll see you guys then. Does that fix anything? There we go. Now we're working.
Alright, let's... Next we've got... Return the trees. Easily the most anticipated game of the, of the tournament so far after a there we go easily the most anticipated game of the tournament so far Stanford on that thriller and not that thriller versus Pete and Cincinnati the Bearcat making a decisive first game impression in BBFL Simulation Tournament. So we've got, uh, yeah, Chase versus Evan here in game two of today's quadruple header. Beautiful Schubert Stadium side of this tournament. And here we go. Yep, there's that tree float. Stanford with the ball first. Terrifying forest of trees out there. Trees versus Bearcat. Tailwind is time. Cool. Alright. It's already about half the offense we saw in today's first game. That absolute thrashing of Toledo by Charlie Cardinal. Let's see what Stanford can get going. It's good. Keep it after running into his own man for about 15 seconds. Five gets hit while throwing, and that's going to be fourth down. Quick three and out here for the trees. He's going to take it up to about 40. God, that looked like a girl. Taking a quick look around the league. Stallions continue to lead the King, 60-31. They all, they all hail the King. Still has five players left. Ian's beating, or Ian's losing the Kelsey right now, 64-72. They both have lots of players in and one yet to play. Bearcat. Get to the third one, they're going to hurry up here. Fakes the option, breaks a tackle, not going to make it. Lost three there, and a three and out for Cincinnati. Back to back. Tuck Sanity continues, leading 96-64 over Seth. And then in the Boobs Division rivalry game, it's a one-point match between Nick and Makita. 
So they both have many players in play and a couple in to play. Because that one can still go either way. Tree is swallowed up there. Tuck Sanity continues to run rampant in the real BBFL. Second and 14 here for the trees on attempt number two to get a score. Trees had that thrilling game against Purdue P that nearly went to overtime. Purdue P being robbed of a touchdown would have put them up three thanks to some ref ball. That one was a little hard to watch, but what can I say? Third and eight. Throws it. All right. So the pass is completed to the bench. That's going to be our third three and out in a row here. Yeah. Big defensive battle going on. Air can't receive it. Gets caught up right away, right around the 35 yard line. Now, if it's a daddy, can put something together. Thirty-five, almost thirty-six yard line. Platt passes deflected. Nowhere. And he's gonna keep it, break the tackle, and take it down to about the Where's the ball? 38 yard line? He's got time. And deflected. Alright. That's three and out number four, ladies and gentlemen. Four in a row. So we're bouncing in for a touchback. And let's see Cincinnati get back to work. Or uh, Stanford get back to work, I'm sorry. Oh my god, we've got a first down. It took to the fifth drive of the game. And, you know, throwing in the double coverage, but we've got a first down, ladies and gentlemen. Stanford over there taking a shit on the ground? I don't know what he's doing. Caught doing a flip. Second and 12. He's going to keep it up on the ground. Make up some of those yardage. Now it'll be third and six with under a minute left in the first. Still scoreless. Trees, what the hell are you doing? Him there, fourth and inches, and they're gonna punt it away. So that is the fifth drive of the day. One first down so far. This is the Bearcats' third possession. Squashed. Mm -hmm. 
probably the last play of the quarter. So it was out of bounds. Man, uh, looks like it was just off there. I'm not sure what the hell is going on. But once again, I am eating my words saying that was the last. This will be the last play of the quarter. And he's going to get sacked again. But, hey, 420. It's It looks like there's smoking tree out there. Nobody getting shit done. There's generic coach number two. And after a quarter, there's nothing going on. Trees and bearcats. Scoreless after a first quarter. And this will be punt number three. Bearcats. All right, Stanford with the ball in Bearcat territory for the first time. I think the first time either team has been on the other side of the field. Pretty sure. And he caught that. Okay. It's hard to tell when the tree can catch that, but that's a first down. Gulp. Oh, they kissed. Drop it back. Out. Uh, looks like he got the first down again. Maybe Stanford's finally awake. Yep, another first down. Winner of this game. We'll play again on the 27th, which is a week from today. They'll be facing the winner of Seth's Texas Hook'ems and the Badger Whackers. Do an impressive come, uh, late start, late bloom, I'd say, for the Badgers. Well, the loser gets dumped down to the loser bracket and will take on... Let me look at it. Takes on Kirby Husker and Kelsey's team on Tuesday. Oh, he gets picked off in the. That should have totally been a touchdown. He just fucking missed through that ball, and now. Steve. <laughs> come out with zero points. God, I kind of want to. 0 0 overtime again. We, if we don't get one crazy overtime game at this tournament, I'm gonna. Bearcats with the ball again. Stanford's first fourth drive ends in an interception and zero points. I mean, really, this is a good defensive fight and everything, but oh my god, it's just. Nothing to watch. Third and six. Oh my god, he's he's gone. Ladies and gentlemen. The eggs are broken. Cincinnati strikes first. Beautiful throw there. Completely blown coverage by the trees. And he's just gone. There's no chance of getting him. Look at that go. Bearcats strike first with a touchdown. Here in the second quarter, finally. Make it seven. 76 yard throw. And so sending it back to the trees to see if they can respond here. Alright, trees, what are you doing? Oh, 
Oh my god, he got picked off again? What are you doing, man? The trees are falling apart. Oh, just sniped him. And the Bearcats again deep in Stanford territory. And this not home crowd is going insane. The Bearcat on an absolute tear. Well, not there. But... Still, such an impressive start to this quarter. Both offenses finally waking up, but the trees have thrown two picks now. Stuffed. That's going to be third and 21. 21? I think they're going to throw it. <sighs> Cincinnati, he just cannot get any time to find it. Fourth and 21 will be about a 50 yarder. It's got the distance. It's good. <laughs> Four plays, negative 11 yards on that draft. <laughs> That sounds about right. He's going to take this one out. To about the 25, 26 of the yard. Oh. He's got a breakaway there. At the third first down for Stanford. Maybe they can't take it on the ground. Oh, 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 come on. How did Cincy not pick that one off? Keep it. He's gonna slide, but he's gonna be just short. Fourth and one with under two minutes left in the first half. Let's see. And ladies and gentlemen, we have our first bad lad play of the day. Trees. Try and draw my sides. Gonna run down the clock, it looks like. This would be a uh, Almost a, around a 60-yard field goal. I don't know if Stanford can afford to try that. Take it down to about 110 on the clock. Oh, they got him. Wait. Uh-oh. It's that easy. Just don't do that. Yep, now they have the punt. Really fucked up there. Damn, he almost nailed that in the corner though. Alright, see if Cincy tries to pour it on here with uh, 68 seconds left, or there's a kick on the ground. Well, Stanford has all three timeouts, they could try and stop him. Gonna run it, tackled, and the Bearcats are gonna call a timeout. Okay. Gets the pass 
No, it was deflected. I can't see it inside the goddamn tree. And I thought they stopped him. Wow, right at just short of the, the, the first down mark. And Stanford's going to get another chance with two timeouts intact. I don't know why Cincinnati got a timeout there. It looks like the trees are going to air it out here to close out the half. What did I do? Alright, caught that one. Clock continues to run. Don't know where that was going. Alright, third and one. These teams are one for ten on third down. Alright, make it two for eleven on third down today. Jesus Christ. Oh, there you go. There you go. Alright. Alright. Look at Aaron. Field goal range now. Tree's looking to get something done before the half. Oh my god, that was good time. What are you doing, man? Oh, he filmed it! Oh my god. So that's a fumble return for a touchdown. Two days in a row. Cincinnati. <laughs> Both teams very quiet at the beginning of the game. Cincinnati's defense coming up big once again. As they extend their lead to 17 to nothing. With 21 seconds left in the first half. A bit of a miserable performance by Stanford so far in comparison to their game against Purdue Peet. And he'll get it out to about the 21 yard run. Still one timeout left, so they can still try and get down the field, but with 17 seconds left. Yeah, there you go. Alright, after the first half, Trees are held scoreless. Trees, one of the fan favorites to go all the way in this tournament. Bearcats just walking all over them. As we get to the second half here. And Bearcats with the ball again. Bearcats, aside from a couple sparks, have been pretty quiet on offense, but their defense has been putting it together. Two picks, fumble return for a touchdown, and this is a 17 to nothing game. If they get their offense even halfway online, this game would be over. That's a confusion. I haven't seen many of those yet. Cincinnati, goddamn. High snap. He's got time though. Delts it. He's got his man, and he's gone. Oh my god. That was another like 60 yard touchdown. Stanford just. Getting nothing done here.
I don't think you're allowed to just change your bet whenever you want, James. 62-yard reception for a touchdown after his previous 72-yard throw. And Cincinnati now leads 24 to nothing for the favorite trees. Stanford really needs to respond here, if not just to um, get the momentum in their favor. It's getting a little hard to watch. Yes, yeah, broken up there. Here's that one out. I don't know how he didn't pick that off. How? Just how? Okay. He heard me. The trees hurt me there. Touchdown trees. And that's a big scoop for them. Yard touchdown throw, and the tree's going for two. And he's gonna try and sneak it. No good. And that's he humping the pull. Eighteen point game. Decent return there with Cincy. Escapes that and keeps the play line for a second, but nothing to do. Fumbles it. Um, I can't tell who came up with it. The goddamn trees. And to get out of the way, man. What the fuck am I looking at? All right. Stanford comes up with a big forced fumble. And right, might right, right, they're back in this. Oh, okay. And they're right back in this game. Time, third and long. Just fucking sad. Jesus, what are you doing? And that's good. Four plays for negative six yards. Good job there, Trees. Oh, 
sure you can't make it. can't make sense. Nate. Oh, he's got him. Go, 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 go. Man, Cincinnati once again just, just going out there. Another easy touchdown. God, once they get past their defenders, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Let's see how long that, field, that throw was. 30 to 9 in favor of the Bearcats. Another 80 yard touchdown throw. Just when I thought Stanford was getting back into this. Just insane. Trees need to get something done here. Two minutes left in the third. We might have another blowout on our hands, folks. that tackle. Gain a six. And oh, he's just going to sneak in there. Being alive here. Late in third. Getting nothing done. Oh, he's got some blocking there. The, the third and four. Still in their own territory. Eating up a lot of clock here. They are down 22 points. They need three touchdowns just to catch up. Just to catch up. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Fourth and six, another punt for Cincinnati. Or for uh, Stanford, I'm sorry. Again, the winner of this game goes on to face the winners between our next game, Seth and Stu. We'll play a week from today. And the loser will face an elimination game. Uh, what is this game? Face an elimination game tomorrow night versus Space Force Coast to Coast. Take a look around the league. Let's see. Stallions pull further ahead against All Hail the King. That was 70 to 32. This Buffalo defense has scored 19 points. Tony Pollard's got 17. That's impressive. Zeke not playing? Or did he just like catch attention? After three quarters. 31 to 9 in favor of the underdog Cincinnati Bearcats. Kelsey and Ian are locked in a pretty tight duel. It's 70 to 81 in favor of Kelsey, but 
their projected totals are within seven points. Ryan Tannehill, Baltimore defense, both have over 20. Passes completed for four yards. Tuck Sanity continues, winning. He's up 93 to 74. Josh Allen is, what the fuck, 47 points? Picked off. All right. This could be the start of something. I don't know why he threw that. It was like double coverage to the trees. Josh Allen had 359 total yards and four total touchdowns. Oh my dear lord. That's insane. Tuck Sanity continues. Trey still struggling to get to that first down marker. Final game of the playoffs right now, the Boobs Division uh, runoff. 87-62 in favor of Nick. Marvin Jones Jr.'s got 20 points. New England defense got has 18. Darren Waller from Nikita has 30. Fourth and one, and we've got a mad lad play here, folks. Stanford desperately need a conversion. They want to have any hope up. Yeah, I think their game's going to go down to the wire, James. All right, Cincinnati with the ball back. Stand for 40. And you know, just keep it on the ground and start trying to get down this clock towards their second W of the tournament. Evans' team... A newcomer to the tournament. Looks to be moving on. We're gonna face off against the winner of our next game between Seth, who hasn't played yet, and was randomly assigned team by the football fans, and Stu's Badger Whackers, which had a rough start, but ended up actually putting together a pretty impressive campaign against Nick and his Knights. Meanwhile, Chase, he will be facing an, an elimination game. Versus space versus the space force. No. Versus Kelsey. On Tuesday. All right, quick three and out for Cincy there, but it doesn't look like it's going to be worth it. It's going to be a little too little too late here for the trees. Gonna wind this down to about probably 145 ish. Schumann Stadium. Pretty quiet right now. It's not really much to watch. Kind of looks like a, they're attending a wake. Yeah, Touch back here. A lot of mistakes for the trees leading to total dominance by the Bearcats. God, look at those fucking eyeballs. Alright, Stanford, at least put some more points on the board. Try and keep yourself out of the toilet bowl. That off. Wow! Oh, he dropped it. 
though, can be impressive. Gets this one off. Damn near picked off again. God, Jesus. How are they doing this? Three for ten on third downs. Alright, that's a conversion. Hurry up here. Alright, another quick pass through the middle, down to the Bearcat territory, and they're moving the chains. And another one. Okay, okay. When I say this was a 22 point game, field goals worthless here. Already in four down territory. Stanford just playing for pride at this point. If they lose, that'd be a 22 point loss. They don't score again. It's going deep. Oh my god. Just throw it away at that point. He was all over. Another guy right there. He could have been there to pick him off too. Jesus. Alright. So assuming Stanford gets, doesn't score again, that'll be a 22 point loss. And that will be. Tied. No. Yeah, tied for the worst blowout. Which was earlier today, actually. 32 to 10. Yeah. Right now, the tournament ended. This, we'd have a toilet bowl between Rocky and the trees. Stanford not even bothering with timeouts. Writings on the walls. Nice flip there to end the game. And that's going to be a 22 to 9 thrashing. Between the buff trees. Hey, Bearcats. The Muncie Cincinnati Bearcats survive, make it on to the quarterfinals of the winner's bracket. While well, the buff trees face a Tuesday night elimination game versus Herbie Husker's hairbrush. Final score 31 to 9. Woof. Who do we have up next? Final game today from a winner's bracket is going to be Seth's Hookums versus the Badger Whackers from Stu. Screenshots. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. 31-9, your final score. Alright, as you know, next game will start at the top of the hour. That'll be 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central. Uh, until then... You know, take it easy. I'm gonna go eat some lunch.
half an hour later. Guns and badgers. Next up, we've got uh, Badgewhackers versus the first appearance of Seth's team, the Texas Hookers. Today's quadruple header. We have the premiere of Seth's team, the Texas Hook'ems. Pretty behind our mascot is actually pretty sad. The actual real life mascot of Evo. Because you know, Longhorns, Texas Longhorns, everyone knows their biggest rival, the uh, uh, AM, Texas AM, the Aggies. So there's a season a long time ago, I forget when. <laughs> uh, Texas had like an undefeated season. Uh, no. The Aggies had like an undefeated season. Or they both did, I forget what it was. Basically, because at Texas University games, they tried out this, you know, this actual steer, this fucking bull with horn, longhorn bull and everything. Some Aggie fans or players or somebody, I don't know if they ever found out. They broke in, and the night before the A&M Texas game, they, they made a custom brand, and they branded the cow, uh, and they branded, like, said, like, 11-0 A&M, like, something saying, like, hey, we're better than you guys, hey, take that, yeah, yeah, we just defaced your mascot, you know, it's like a living human, they're not a living human being, a living creature. So then, uh, to try and cover it up, Texas kind of ran it over it, so that it kind of looked like Bevo, B-E-V-O, and it just started calling it Bevo from there on. Now they tried him on the field and he's drugged out of his mind so he doesn't run over anybody. I bet Bevo's getting fucked up out there. Oh, before the chat goes crazy, I know I'm eating a cheese stick like a monster, but I swear these this brand of cheese stick doesn't actually peel. So I'm not like a serial killer, I just can't peel these. Third and long. Just fucking sacked again, Jesus. That and I'll have to get started here. It's tournament preview, or premiere, I should say. Bing Cortana, that's a good to go walk there, gets out to about the 42. And see what Bucky can do out there with his an ascot or a scarf. Airing that one out. Oh! Gets past his defender, catches that big play to start off for Bucky Thatcher. Alright, good start from Bucky. Once the show us that its slow start yesterday was a fluke.
First and ten. Another first and ten. He and and Sun's gonna be first and goal there. Bucky Badger starting off really, really hot. I'd like to see it. This is like as much offense as we've had in our first two games combined. Like, those were um some rough games. I'm still playing around with OBS while I'm learning. Oh, he gets picked off! Oh, Hookham's got it, and he's got some room. He's gonna break that, and he gets tackled by, I think, the quarterback. Oh! Steps in front of the Wisconsin receiver there, somewhere. And he damn near returned that for a pick six. So, Hookham showing that they're actually here to fight. Intercepted right back. Can he get away? No, he's going to get picked by the receiver. And screen passes are always very risky. And back-to-back uh, -back interceptions. At least we got some excitement. Let's go. Perfectly timed that. He read the quarterback from A to Z there. It was Compton. Back with the ball. on the option and get it up for about five yards then. Five here for the Hookums. Oh, he fucking dropped it. What an idiot. Take a look around the lead. Oh, Bucky's gonna go for a field goal. And he's got it. 53 yard. Impressive. So, Wisconsin, first on the board. Stallions continue to lead 3 of 38 over Sam. Uh, Kelsey's pulling away from Ian there a little bit, 112 to, 112 to 65. Uh, Steph, you know, making up some ground there. Now losing 86 to 90, but Tuck Sanity continues to grip the BBFL. And in our boobs division playoff, or uh, runoff, I should say, it's Nick over Makita, 103 to 71. That one you now projected to be to be decided by three points, so we'll keep an eye on that. Correction, because 103 to 75. That was ESPN projected to keep it win by one. As Seth pulls off the catch there, breaks the tackle, and he's going to be down inside the 30 yard line. Hookums. Shown they're still in this one early. I think I'm just not used to having this much like excitement in a game today. You know, not to talk on our previous four teams that played today, but god damn. First and ten run, not going anywhere. Gets the oh, never mind. Can't hold on to the fucking ball. He's got hooves out there. He's, he, 
He said, Cal trying to play football with hoops, and we keep expecting him to catch the ball. At least the Badgers, they got the ball. Like, fingers. Ooh, he's going deep. And I can't come up with it. Just a bit of a toss up there into quadruple coverage. And they're going to go out for a 35, 36, or 45, 46 yard field goal. Knocks it through. Easy. We got a tie game, folks. 45 yarder. Some big plays on offense so far, and nobody been able to turn them into six. Just stopped by the note. Did he, did he get him? Did he get four of them there? He did get it. Okay, look at that. Where's it there by Bucky? Okay, that's a new one. That is, that's, uh, okay. I think there's a couple teams that do it, but who's the team that, like, they, every time they do a uh, push-up for every point score. Who is that? Or do a bunch of teams do that? Is that pretty much right? Didn't get anywhere there, second and ten. That's for flip there. That's going to end the first quarter. We're tied up at three points each. Hook him and a Bucky Badger. Trading blows. <laughs> Gets the pass off. Oh, we can't hold on to it. Jesus Christ. That's going to be fourth and eleven. Punch it away here. Hook them, see if they can get anything going. Knock down around the 28 yard line, and hook them will take it over from here. Hook them, hand off the hook, does a flip. And uh, he's gonna lose a yard there. Oh, he gets picked off hard there. Guess you can't make it. That's gonna be a pick six, ladies and gentlemen. Our third interception of the game, second one for Hook'em. Bucky Badger all over. Yeah, they have a chance there. I don't know what they were doing. Easy pick six for the Badgers. Now they're going for the point after. And it's good. Bucky Badger out ahead 10 to 3. I'm not sure six people watching this thing. Trying again. Trying to shake off his two interceptions. Make it three. God damn, look at that. At least he didn't return to that time. What is he doing? This is kind of embarrassing.
Hey, I'm not done with you. Hey. Get your hand down me. Even the AI uh, rap is very coach is just like that. Bucky Badger with the ball again get hit, gets hit while throwing. He actually ends up completing the pass after it bounces around a bit. Good heads up play there. Texas equals not back. Yeah. No, belt that one up. And gets knocked around. Gets batted down by the defender, and Hookham finally makes it some more sort of steep it. Their offense isn't going to be able to do anything, so their defense might have to do it. Kick is up, and that's another successful field goal. 50 yards. Look, I'm going to take it out. Hit hard about the 15 yard line. Three interceptions for Bucky Badger so far today. Been all over the Hook'em QB. Whatever his fucking name is. Harry Hook'em. A roster check for the Actually pulled that one in. Interesting. See the free play. Perfectly executed throw there. Um, I do not recognize any names for this 2011 Texas Longhorn squad. Malcolm Brown has a this, uh, page with the video. What the fuck? Alright. Fumbled but recovered. The call and field is under review. Oh, okay. Booth review. Yeah, he was down. That's easy. Okay. The right call there by the refs. Correct call. Oh, he's going to air it out too. Gets past the defender and he's going to be down at him. All right, he's going to be right at the 10 yard line. Yep. For Wisconsin, that is Russell Wilson at quarterback. Melvin Gordon's a freshman there right now. As is James White. No, he's a sophomore. Got any Nick Toon? Nick Toon, Nick Toons? I don't remember. I don't recognize his other names. Anyway, hook him with the ball. Bounces off that one, and it could be taken down. Do it. Going end zone. Gets picked off for a fourth fucking time. Oh my god. Is that the second one in the end, or in the, in the end zone? Oh, look at him. What are you doing, man? That wasn't even close. He was there the entire time. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ, that is bad. Okay, man, he's got some room, breaks some tackles, gets through another one, he's gonna take that out over midfield. Bucky Badger, just all over him today on offense, and especially on defense. Just under two minutes left in the first half. try and fill, fill in for all the mistakes that Harry Hookham is making back there at quarterback. They might have a shot to stay on this one. Third and seven. Completion across the middle. Put them in field goal range. Fresh set of downs. Thirteen to three in favor of the Badgers. Wonder if this game will go on the face of Evan. Uh, next week, a week from today. Well, the loser drops down and has an elimination game tomorrow night versus Space Force. A lot on the line, obviously. Lucky Badger. Pass knocked down. Good heads up defensive play there. Third, third and long here. For the Badgers. On the edge of field goal range. Pressure coming. Catches it. And... They're gonna stop just short of the, of the line. That's like on the half yard line. What a stop there by Texas. Wisconsin hurrying out, trying to get the catch and hook them off guard. You've got time. Leaping catch for the touchdown here. Seems to get in slow motion. I cut away from it. Diving catch. You know, like that. Get your body on the line to get you more than six more points. Bucky Badger on a tear right now. It's going to be uh, 17 unanswered points. I think Wisconsin kicked the first field goal. Alright, 43 seconds left. Second quarter. Texas with all three timeouts. They've got a chance to march down the field. I think they get the ball back after the half. I could plug my mic. Let's see if that makes sense. Reflected. Alright, mic check. One, two, one, two. The fish was delish, and it made quite a dish. Still getting other pops on the middle of it. Flip! F for flip. Alright, this could be third and long here for Texas. I think you just kneel it out and go to the half. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Alright. After two quarters of play. 20 to 3 in favor of Bucky Badger. It's two looking good so far. I still hate the look of the Badger. That was Alright, Bucky Badger with the ball after half. Looks like I was wrong. Schumann Stadium lighting up here. Need to go down. 
Yeah. Uh, four interceptions today so far for uh, Hook'em. I think only one for Bucky Badgers. So. One of them picked six for Bucky. Hook him through the big six. Completion there. Connector's coming back up. My head has flowed. That's a good completion. Let me fuck with my mic. Yeah, it's going through my laptop mic for again for some reason. Another pick. Jesus Christ. It's constant just walking all over him right now. And an easy touchdown. Do this. I can't fucking understand why it does this. That's not it either.
He's going deep. And he's got him. And he broke a tackle. Oh, almost another one. Jesus. 209 yards for this guy. I just have to restart my capture after this. All right, well, this is the best you got right now. Rush this game. Check, check, one, two, hello, come on. Okay, Texas. Pick up that fumble. There you go, there you go, there you go.
really don't get it. I really fucking hate that. That's not what I want. Third and 23, Jesus Christ. Going for it. Actually catches it, okay. Fuck, okay, that's a touchdown. Motherfucker. Alright, this is gonna be some sort of OBS or something. Alright, 13 point game with 342 left. I'll watch the rest of this game. Oh, they're going for the onside already? That's a pretty mad lad play if you ask me. No way. No way. They forced the fumble and picked it up. Hook him, what are you doing? Wow, I just need to not watch for a while. Okay, how about, okay, well you can hear me there. <sighs> Whatever, I'll figure it out later. Almost picked off once again by Buggy Badger. Texas really needs to be careful here. Three minutes left in the game. Third and 18. Oh my god, go! Texas on the warpath gets just enough separation, avoids the tackle, and just like that, they are absolutely back in this game with all three timeouts after that huge brain play. Go for the onside and somehow forcing a fumble. Seven point game. Now six. Texas coming back like none other. And they're going to go for a normal kickoff here. Trusting their defense.
right, Wisconsin looking like they're dead. Take as much time off the clock as they can. Second to ten here, one man in the backfield. Gonna probably snap with around just over 210 left. If Texas comes back and wins this fucking game. Throwing it. Oh no. You've gotta be kidding me. Wow. And what's this fucking guy doing? And just like that, Wisconsin responds saying, hey, it's not going to be this easy. I think they're pissed about that fumble on the onside kick. Bucky Badger, back up by 12. Oof. And yes, they're going for the Mad Lad play. Big brain right here. To make it a full 14-point lead. Throws it away, and that's going to keep the lead at 12. Hook them. Not out of this one yet, but it's going to be a rough one down the stretch here. Two minutes and four seconds left in the game. A spot in the corner finals on the line. Oh my god, he fucking fumbled it. And he's going to return it. Oh, he... Oh. What? Hello? Alright, Bucky, you can put it away here. Texas, they hold him to a field goal. They've got a shot. That's it. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking game. Way to go, Wisconsin. Ice in their goddamn veins. Texas was charging. But they didn't let it get to them. Alright. That's a 19 point lead. I guess it's still technically possible they could come back, but. They're gonna need a couple miracles here. Welcome. And this one. Just completed first down. All right, they're moving the chains. Texas playing for pride here. Going deep. He's got his man. Easy catch, and that's a touchdown. All right. We got ourselves a high scoring game here. Is this our highest scoring so far? What was the Purdue game? Purdue was 28 to 33. Alright, it's a 13 point game right now. Make it 12. 66 yard catch and Texas hanging in there with 90 seconds left they got three timeouts with a little luck Lucky Badger he holds on to it that time thank god ball in great field position though gonna take that four yards. Texas burns a timeout.
Okay, I think I fixed my mic. I'm not sure how I did that, but... Oh! If he pulled off that pick. desktop audio. Check, check. Lost the game audio now, but... Him. Oh my god, he caught it again. And he's gonna go all the way. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't know why I don't have this now. And they're gonna go for two. Yeah, I think I just need to restart the VS. Oh, gets deflected. All right, Texas. Now only down nine. Going for another onside kick. That's three in a row. No, three of them. Straight the Bucky again. He'll hold on to it. But Texas only has one timeout left, so that's got to be game. Unless something incredible happens here. Timeout. Holds on to it. Texas has one last chance to strip the ball here. They need a miracle. Just need out. <sighs> Holds on to it after that flip. Bucky Badger is going to survive a thriller at, at Schumann. And that will be game. Final score, 46 to 37 in favor of the Badgers. Holy crap. Another thrilling game, courtesy of the Badgers. Cannot believe that game. Cannot believe that that happened. All right, I'm going to take the stream offline for a few minutes and try and figure out why this isn't working. So hopefully we should start right back up at four. Deuces.